It's nice to meet you in our last uh, lecture in electrochemistry, which we call uh, the industrial electric processes. But now, in this case, we are going to focus our attention in the industrial preparation of uh, aluminium. Aluminium is uh, recovered from bauxite ore, which is imported from Australia. Which means to say that in South Africa, we don't have any resources uh, for aluminium. That's why we are importing it from uh, Australia. Uh, the processes used to recover aluminium is called the wall process. At times, it can also be called the wall error loud uh, process. Why? Just because it was uh, discovered in 1886 by an American uh, chemist Charles Martin Wall and the Frenchman Paul Erolot. As a result, we can combine their two synonyms, that is Wall and uh, Herald, so that it can all be called the Wall Herald uh, process. So we are saying the process uh, makes use of a cell which is some um, graphite uh, anodes. Remember, graphite is an allotrope of uh, carbon. And uh, remember, we have two allotropes of carbon, that is uh, diamond and uh, graphite. But uh, diamond doesn't conduct electricity, while it's graphite conducts electricity. That's why we are using the graphite anodes as well as the graphite uh, cathodes. Why? Because they can actually conduct uh, electricity. But now the graphite anodes themselves, they are going to be uh, used up in the process. Why? Because they are in the, they are the anodes. And so at the anodes, we see to it that our, our oxidation reaction is taking place. So we have the oxidation of our graphite anodes. Remember, in our electrolytic processes, again, we said that our anodes are positively charged and our cathodes themselves are negatively charged. But our chemical reactions are not going to actually change. That is, at the anode, we have our oxidation reaction and at the cathode, we have our reduction uh, reaction. The aluminium ore in bauxite is aluminium oxide its melting point is very high but it has been found that aluminium oxide can be dissolved in molten uh, cryolite which we call sodium hexafluoroaluminate and uh, we can actually write the chemical formula for sodium hexafluoroaluminate so all what we are saying it is called hexafluoro why because we are having six fluorine atoms then it's aluminate why because we are having an aluminium and it is called sodium because we are having sodium there all right so now if we are going to proceed very well we are saying that uh, this particular mixture of aluminium oxide which is dissolved in molten cryolite uh, is actually electrolyzed. Remember when we are saying electrolyze, we are actually decomposing our aluminium oxide using an electrical current. And this process is called electrolysis. Right? So what is going to happen now at our cathodes, as you can see that our cathodes are right round like that. So we see to it that at the cathodes, uh, we have our aluminium. Our aluminium, they are going to actually uh, gain uh, some uh, electrons. So we have the aluminium, 3 plus, uh, gaining 3 electrons. And at the end of the day, we are going to form our aluminium solid. And our aluminium 3 plus is actually in aqueous form. Right? That is the reaction which is taking place at uh, the cathode and this one is a reduction reaction 
right our aluminium collects at the bottom of um, the molten electrolytes that is right there at the bottom of our molten cryolite which is our electrolyte then and uh, we see to it that our molten aluminium is actually being tapped out that's why you see our arrow is going that way which means that is we're going to collect our aluminium from there right and it is going to sink right to the bottom of the cell because it is dense so aluminium itself is actually dense and uh, at the end of the day it can be collected at the bottom of our electrolytes right so at the anodes now as you can see we are having our graphite anodes there so we want to see what's really happening at our graphite uh, anodes so from the look of things we see to it that uh, with our graphite anodes uh, we see to it that our our oxide ions that is uh, the oxide ions uh, which we have they are going to actually lose four electrons and this one itself is an oxidation uh, reaction right so we are having our oxygen our oxide from our aluminium oxide remember we have electrolyzed our aluminium oxide into aluminium 3 plus and uh, uh, oxygen uh, 2 minus uh, ions so at the end of the day uh, we see to it that the oxygen itself uh, reacts with a carbon graphite anode uh, to produce uh, carbon uh, dioxide as we have said that we are having our oxygen which is being produced today we see to it that our our oxygen itself reacts with carbon dioxide and so we are going to have the production of carbon dioxide gas at our graphite uh, anodes right the main aluminium smelter in south africa is actually located at richards bay it is located at a deep sea port, so there are no costs for overland uh, travel. And uh, environmentally, the site must be such that the insoluble impurities, that is sent, a red mud, can be safely deposed of, uh, that is, inside the sea. It is usually pumped into the sea or into the large ponds. The water mixed with mud could be harmful to aquatic life if the ponds dry up the red dust can be blown around by the wind and cause other environmental uh, problems another potential hazard exists in the fluorine which is present in the waste gases from the smelting process it escapes into the atmosphere and must be carefully uh, controlled so if we are going to summarize this particular uh, reaction we are going to see to it that our industrial preparation of aluminium as we can see our aluminium itself it actually collects at the cathode that is where reduction is actually uh, taking place and this one occurs at uh, the anode as we have already uh, identified so in this case we are actually having our our aluminium our oxygen uh, two minus ions there I put oxygen gas so they might save a correction there right so at the end of the day we have the recovery of our aluminium and now we are going to actually have the application of our aluminium in most of our everyday uses that is, it is being produced by what we call the wall herald uh, process. So with this, we can conclude our lectures in uh, electrochemistry. Thank you for your listening from the first day of our lecture in electrochemistry up to the end of uh, today. So what we are now left with is you are supposed to actually stay tuned 
for examination type questions are accompanied uh, with this process of uh, electrolysis of in fact uh, the process of uh, electrochemistry that is when we are going to look uh, on all the examination type questions maybe from 2008 to 2011 June so we're going to have more of these examples for you to understand better so with this we can actually conclude our lesson so stay tuned for the examination type questions which will follow thank you